Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome back to your daily Pepe update, um, which I would never have expected me to, to say this this quickly, but it actually looks like we are consolidating. We are stabilizing and we are moving sideways with Pepe. It looks like that at this point in time, but we'll talk about that in this video. I still think that the overall direction is down. So we'll talk about that, but just in general, I'll try to um, give you as much of a thorough overview and what you can expect from Pepe um, in the short term future. That's what we'll do. Before we get into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals such as on Pepe, uh, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment and there you will find instructions on how to join. Um, it's a profitable group. You can also join, uh, join some ch chat rooms with some, some other traders. If you're interested, check out the links. But now on to Pepe. So the thing is, is we have stabilized. I mean, if you if you check out these these EMAs, for example, they're completely flat, um, which is a, a good thing and a bad thing. It also means that there's lack of bullish momentum. And if there's something we need with Pepe, uh, because we have seen meme coins um, become pretty strong again, especially in the weekend. I mean, you can see right now, if you sort by volume, you have Saudi, Pepe and some other cryptos um, or some other um excuse me so, so some other meme coins popping off and pepe is just consolidating not really doing anything ladies also did very well um and you can also see that we're still respecting this downtrend right so i i still think that the overall direction is down now what's helping us is that bitcoin is a little bit bullish so the thing is that right now um pepe is around seventeen thousand two hundred. the main key level around this level is seventeen thousand five hundred. I would say that if, if we can actually break above 17,500, I think there's actually one last push left up to 20,000 again. Um, and then there's a small chance that we'll break above that. If Bitcoin goes up to 28,000, sure, Pepe can go all the way up to 23,000. I doubt it, but it's possible. Um, but yeah, so there's this, um, I would say there's this like 40% chance that we can break above 17,500 one more time. Uh, get up to 20,000. I don't think we'll break above that, but there's a chance. Um, and then we'll just stay in this consolidation. But at some point of time, within the next week, I think, I think we will still have a bearish breakout through 17,500 and a drop slowly down towards 13,000 and down to 11,000 again. That is what I still expect. Um, so like I said, that, that really comes from my, my overall direction bias. I still think that the overall direction of Pepe is down. I think altogether we are getting into a little bit more of a bearish market because even though Bitcoin is displaying some bullish momentum on the short term, um, our last high was uh, was a month ago. And since then we have created lower highs and there's also more risk and more fear about a recession coming. Well, who's going to buy meme coins in a recession? I don't think a lot of people. Um, so that's why I think what I think. And to be honest, this could go pretty quickly. If we're, if, if we're not able to break above 17,500 right now or in the next day, we'll drop down to 15,000. Uh, and that's really our last support. If 15,000 breaks, it's a strong psychological level. It's a strong technical level. Then we're already at 13,000 and 13,500. And with that bearish breakout, that's enough bearish momentum to push all the way down to 11,000 and 10,000. And at some point of time, I would think that Pepe is able to rally again, uh, but this really was kind of our, our second rally. And a third rally usually is even smaller. Um, and I'm not even sure if that's possible if the, if, if the market is bearish, which at some point of time, I do think it will become more bearish again. So, um, so yeah, we'll have to wait for that. But for now, that's my, my main guide. Uh, on Pepe. So no, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think a new all-time high is possible. I, I believe that's the, that's the thumbnail. I'm sorry if, if I'm a little bit too bearish for you, but I'm trying to be realistic. And this is realistically what I expect. So that's my take on Pepe for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.